Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to eliminate the left recursion and the left factoring. Okay. So these are the rules for removing the left recursion. So we have the grammar like A gives A alpha and there is recursion of A. So we will first of all write the beta over here and then A dash. And to remove this left recursion, I will first of all write the remaining part that is alpha over here. And the A dash and then epsilon also. Okay. So this was the rule and if uh, we have a lot of recursions like this till a alpha n and we have the remaining part like that. So first of all we will write the remaining parts like beta 1 a dash beta 2 a dash and like this till beta m a dash. Okay. We have to write the a dash after each and every other part and then in the a dash first of all what I will write is I will write what part was the recursion part that is a alpha 1 so i will write the alpha 1 then a alpha 2 so i will only write the alpha 2 and a dash and for over here so alpha n a dash and we have to write the epsilon by default so that the beta 1 part would be, be obtained from the new grammar that is beta 1 a dash would be written as a gives beta epsilon which is equal to a gives beta only so let us check for if we have the indirect left recursion that is we have the grammar like a gives b alpha and c but b gives a beta which is indirectly uh, recursion only so we have to update and we have to put this a alpha in the part of b over here and d in part of b in the first a's production and c as it is from the a's production so after applying the removal rule of left recursion, I will just write the other production that is D alpha and A complement, also the C and A dash after this because A was having recursion over here. Okay, so I will write the A dash now. I just wrote the remaining part and the A dash part over here in the A. Let us go for the A dash. So I will write the remaining part of the first one that was containing the recursion. So beta alpha and a dash as it is and the epsilon by default. And we will write the remaining grammar that is d gives small d. Okay. So we have got the updated grammar and we have removed the left recursion. Now let us see the rule for removing the left factoring. We have alpha in the first production and the second production also. So what I will do is I will write the alpha only once and then I will write a dash and from the first production I will write the beta and from the second I will write the gamma. Okay. And what if we have a lot of productions with the same factors. So I will just combine all the common part that is the alpha over here and I will write the a dash over here and what will be the a dash production that is beta 1 beta 2 till the beta n and also epsilon by default okay epsilon means empty set now let us see the example for finding the left recursion grammar from the following grammar we have s gives a capital a b c capital b and a capital a b so we have the common part like this i have just underlined those so let us write the left factoring grammar so applying left factoring rule first of all i will write the combined part that is the factors that are common so like this i will write the alpha that is the a capital a b the common part first means the factors first and then s dash and s dash would be containing the remaining part that is c capital b and there is nothing in the second production so epsilon okay now let us write for a's production so we have small a common so i will write that first and then a dash and in the a dash i will write the remaining part or the part that was with this so capital a and epsilon okay now let us write the grammar for b so we have the small b common so i will write small b and b dash and in the b dash i will write capital b and epsilon okay from this grammar i will be able to make this so i will write the b 
and epsilon. Okay. This new grammar is known as the left factoring grammar. So let me just show you the complete page. I can also write over here like this grammar is known as the left factoring grammar. Let me just write that down. So updated grammar known as the left factoring grammar. Known as left factoring grammar. Okay. So thank you guys for watching the video. Do like, share and subscribe. Also comment down below if you are having doubts. And if you want to access complete video series on a particular programming language or topic then go to my playlist section or you can just click on the playlist link inside the description of this video. So see you all in the next video. Till then study more worry less and all the best for your exams. Bye bye.